right about now. And um, this is gonna be done on a Woodway treadmill. And Brian, can you explain what we're, all the data that Arash and I are gonna be pulling out tonight? Yeah, so we're gonna be putting them on a treadmill, both of them on this treadmill. And what we'll be doing is measuring their um, oxygen utilization while they exercise and also their, carbo uh, their carbon dioxide um, in terms of what they expel. What we eventually um, want to get from a data standpoint are a couple of data points. We want to get their uh, max uh, oxygen uptake at their highest intensity, which would be their VO2 max. Um, that's the, the measurement we're targeting. But we also want to see how they're burning energy throughout exercise. So what we'll see is, is where they're burning fat tissue more effectively than carbohydrates. Um, in terms of energy, at a certain point during exercise, the demand gets um, so high that your body turns to carbohydrates for energy utilization. And if we're looking to burn fat more effectively, we want to know at what point does that occur in terms of exercise, at what heart rate. So we'll have different heart rate zones that will correlate to where we're burning different types of energy um, during exercise. You know, it's funny because all cardiovascular training is going to get you in it's going to do something. It's going to get you in better shape. But I think the misconception is that most people just think because they go out for a run or they go out and they play sport or their heart rate is just frivolously wherever the hell it is, it doesn't mean that they're maximizing or optimizing right. um, those specific characteristics that they want to improve. So if it's someone trying to get in a better running shape, well, that might be, that might look a lot different than say a bodybuilder like Arash mm -hmm. who's trying to drop as much body fat as possible while maintaining as much muscle as possible because there is a cost to doing business with cardio, I have found. And if you start overstaying your welcome in specific zones and you have, what is it, pretty much, there's, there's what, five different zones, right? There's yeah, zone we'll probably get like, uh, yeah, the five zones and, and we'll probably get those uh, readings in about eight or nine minutes. Right, so I mean, if you're living in one zone and that's, that could be working against what Arash is trying to accomplish, right. which is why, and I keep going back to it, when in, in hockey season with my nutrition that I thought was still good, but my calories were low, I, I burned muscle and I put on body fat because my cardio training was just yep. over exceeding where I needed to be at. So I know I'm ranting right now, but I want everyone to think a little bit differently about how you approach And we'll, see, we'll see it in the data. Uh -huh. data. And I figured that out through, uh, till my max heart rate gets 180. Yeah, I can't go, I can't go any, like when I'm in 170, 172, that's high. I've seen myself there a few times. Yeah, you were like pretty comfortable at, at um, you were pretty comfortable at. The uh, problem was it wasn't, I got nauseous. Okay. I thought I could have, uh, if, if I wasn't nauseous, I could have held that for a while. Yeah. But whatever, it doesn't matter. But uh, did I break 50, right? Yeah, 54.9. 54.9. Okay, so what's, okay. It's awesome. But you know what's weird? The mask got me nauseous. I wanted 50, I broke, I broke 50, I broke 55. Uh, I'm gonna give you a different heart rate now.
No, I was waiting for the machine just to tell me you reached your anaerobic threshold, but I know you did. So tough. Yeah. Taxing. After how long have you gone running like that? Oh, yeah. Have you seen my anaerobic Since I hurt my I'm hip. Sure. Yeah. I don't do anything like that. But that was, towards the end, I was just gasping, couldn't breathe. You hit 179 heart rate. Wow. Yeah. 179, yeah. I was about to say, I, I, I really. It I feels like it. We're going to see that We got my clock right now. We got here at 7 a.m., it's 10 20. We're sorry. We're sorry. It's three hours and 20 minutes in. We literally, thank you for your time and your hospitality yeah. on the 4th of July. A lot of fun. Arash and I are the only two people on the planet who were like, oh, July 4th, let's just go. And I said, if they think it's a good idea, then it's a good idea. I think it was a great idea. I mean, we found out a lot about our body composition today with the um, DEXA scan, mm -hmm. our VO2 max testing, which I think is fascinating. And there's, this is a five hour conversation that we have to have. And the RMR testing, which we pretty much knew, yeah. but we're trying to control that RMR, right? And that RMR, us knowing our RMR is gonna help determine where our body composition is. And the VO2 max testing is gonna help us determine where our training should be. So notice how this is all tied in. Anything you can comment on all that? I mean, look, between the two of us, we have 60 some odd years of fitness, nutrition, bodybuilding, yep. strength training, everything. And I feel like we learned a lot here today, a, a ton, you know, and some of it I expected and some of it was a, a, quite a nice surprise. So we're going to sit down, put all this information together and create our plan for me where I want to get in the next few months and for you to put on that five pounds of muscle, right. how we can utilize this information to take ourselves to the next level and be Get there sooner, get there more efficiently, not get there, you know, three extra months. And without all the wear and tear on our bodies exactly. too. And, and you know, I was so happy to hear that one of our challengers came down from Jersey to go through your program, not to mention her name, it's private information. But guys, I, I'm telling you, Arash and I would have gotten in the car this morning and drove three hours for this if it wasn't in our backyard, thank God it is. But um, please check out Brian's facility in Syosset. We're gonna leave a link attached to this. You can go to Dexafit. Oh, what's the uh, what's the um, uh, the handle on Instagram? Dexafit uh, De uh, Dexafit uh, underscore Long Island on Instagram. Kabir's gonna put all that information below, guys. Thank you.